Hi everyone, this is Brian with Obedia. Today I'm going to show you the new uh, mix console features in Personas Studio One version three. Let's just talk about them real quickly. Now, first of all, one of the things you're going to notice is that the new mix console in Studio One three looks very different from Studio One two. Uh, it's got a more stylized look to it. The faders are more stylized. They look a lot like Personas faders. They look like the faders you might find on Personas hardware um, and one of the things you're going to notice if you uh, are comparing this between studio one two and studio one three is that uh, my channel strips are color coded which is actually really cool and here's the reason for that uh, you might be like me and make use of grouping a lot I like to make use of of groups in studio one I just selected a group of tracks and I selected by right clicking to group those tracks this allows me to move a grip of faders all at once now I can change the colors if I want to um, for this group and this is pretty cool because now all I'm doing is I'm clicking just down here on the name of my track and from the color palette I'm selecting a new color that I want to denote this group now how am I doing this that's by making use of this little gear icon here on the left hand corner of the console and this is the new configure menu and one of the things that I get control over here is the ability to colorize my channel strips and you can see that I'm enabling and disabling that and when not enabled the channel strips all basically look kind of the normal dark and sort of gray but when I enable it the channel strips are going to be colored the same colors as whatever it is that I select down here from the color palette I find this really useful personally because again it is a great way for me to be able to uh, keep track of my channel strips that I am working with and know exactly what is what so that's something that I find pretty cool uh, and something that I think is going to be a great workflow enhancement to a lot of folks out there another thing you might notice is that my faders and my channel strips are now resizable so as I drag upwards everything's going to kind of follow along um, before these wouldn't resize in this way in studio one two so this is a new thing it's going to allow you to resize now you can still of course also break your mixer out and separate your mixer from your studio one arrange window and expand it and the cool thing about this is you can put this onto another monitor if you want to i love to have my studio one mixer on a second monitor um, and I love being able to have it as expanded as possible because it just makes it super easy for me to be able to mix and work inside of Studio One. So that's something that I think a lot of folks are going to find useful. Uh, now you also still are going to find many of the options that you are used to seeing uh, in Studio One and that's going to uh, include the ability to resize real quickly all of these channel strips you can change their height and their width real easily. You can hide and show your inputs, your outputs, your trash, external inputs, your instruments, and uh, you can also show all of the tracks that are currently active in the song that you are working on. And this is all accessible from the menus that are right here on the bottom left hand corner of the console. Uh, so that is a very big um, thing that I think has always been very important in Studio One. It's nice to see it's still there, but it's also great to be able to see these new features that are accessible to me inside of the Mix console as well. Another thing that's very much worth mentioning is that my metering has been greatly improved and uh, this is because if I'm making use of a plugin or an insert on a track that is going to um, affect the dynamic range or just the dynamics of that track, I'm going to get this small yellow bar right here in my metering and this little yellow bar is going to show me things like range reduction and how the dynamics are being affected by the plugins that I instantiate uh, on this one track and I'm just going to show this to you when I play back So 
So you can see that what is happening there is I'm seeing how the dynamics are being affected by the plugins that I have instantiated. Now, if I choose to remove any of the plugins that will affect my dynamics, you'll see that that yellow line is going to go away. And if I choose to reinstantiate a plugin that will affect the dynamics of that uh, channel strip that I'm working with, then I will see that. Uh, dynamics control coming back into my metering. There's also the new channel editor, uh, which I can access right here real quickly in my channel strip. Channel editor has two views. One is going to be the uh, macro controls view, which I'm looking at right here. We can talk about that in another video. And then I also have the option to access the routing view, which I've spoken about in another video, allowing you to be much more precise, accurate, and take greater control over how your effects are routed in your Studio One channel strip. So just a lot of cool new things added to your workflow in Studio One and in the mixing console. Things that I hope you guys found useful for um, to find out more about in this video. But as always, if you have questions or comments, please feel free to leave them for us here in this video or find us on your favorite social media network. Even better, give us a call at Obedia. Sign up as an Obedia VIP where you're going to get access to seven day a week technical training and support via the phone and remote desktop and you're also going to get access to member exclusive videos by being a Obedia VIP. You can find out more about that at Obedia.com. Work one-on-one -on -one with a trainer just like myself will help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software because that's what we do best here at Obedia. As always guys, I'm Brian with Obedia. I want to thank you for tuning in and until next time, happy music making to you and take care. Mm -hmm.